Hello everyone. Um, if you've watched some of my older videos, you'll know that I was talking about a surprise. The surprise that I have for you guys. Uh, it's been quite a while, but I finally finished it. This is my vintage camera mini album, and I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. So I'll tip it up here so you can get a better view, and I will take some pictures and post them at the end of the video. So what I did was I actually created this camera box out of uh, medium weight cards, um, chipboard, sorry. And uh, I shaped the ends using grunge paper um, that has some black leather adhered to it. I added some grommets and just you know what, these are just circles, half inch circles punched out of lightweight cardstock uh, colored with a gold leafing pen and then a, a large brad just to kind of symbolize the film, film reels. Um, on the front I've added a bellows which is made out of 80 pound black cardstock and uh, this was quite fun to create, it's fairly flexible. Uh, just add a little bit more color. I've um, created these rings again out of lightweight chipboard and I stacked them one on top of the other, glossy accented them together. And this here is a seven, seven Gypsies lens that I glued on top. And I cut a hole in the top of the bellows just so that you could uh, get a little bit of dimension. You could, it's almost like the lens goes in there. And you know what? Had I had the supplies with me when I did this, I would have glued a mirror onto uh, the box before putting the bellows on. I think that would have been really cool to see, see a mirror in the bottom of that lens compartment there. And then my husband had this fabric covered wire and I it was white so I just colored it black to coordinate with uh, the camera case and then I just used a couple of Tim Holtz hitch fasteners. I was able to screw them onto the end and I put some glossy accents on there as well so they don't fall off. Um, the bottom I've done the same treatment for the uh, film reels and then I put a hitch fastener here because otherwise it, it kept wanting to lean forward so now at least it sits back you could put it on a shelf it, it looks great. So on the back I just looped this cord through uh, the little pole I put on the, the door and we'll get to that in a minute. And a couple of photo turns just to keep the door closed and of course some hinges. So if you move these photo turns aside and open the door you have a little surprise inside. I've created a little mini album um, that fits in the film compartment and then I lined the inside of the box with this velveteen paper that's really soft. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, this here on the edges, I just used black puff paint. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay. It's vintage, right? It's not supposed to be perfect. But it, it hides the edges and my seams here. Um, also adds a little bit more color across the top and the bottom of the camera because I thought it was fairly plain and I guess you could had a carrying handle if you wanted to uh, to the top or to the side or whatever but anyway I'm gonna set this aside and show you my mini album. So this is the mini album I created for my camera actually it was the album that came before the camera um, what I used on the cover here was Tim Holtz film strip die and I cut um, one length out of lightweight chipboard I just tore it in half and I added uh, black embossing powder with with some glitter in it. Um, I also added pieces of acetate behind the the windows here and stamped my title on, right on the acetate. I used several of these. They're just little fabric flowers you can get from Walmart and I disassembled them so then I mixed and matched different shapes and sizes. I didn't ink any of the flowers Honestly, I was a bit lazy, but in the end, I think it was good to keep them all white because it really offset the darkness of the rest of the album. Um, I created this 
ticket using, again, the Tim Holtz ticket strip die and also the stamps that go on top. And the binding, I used just a another strip of leather similar to what I used on the ends of the camera. For the closure, I used a jewelry closure. I don't know what you call this. It's a barbell and a hoop. And you just take that apart like that. Uh, the paper collection I used for this album was the Mamarazzi by Bow Bunny, so I thought it was a great choice. So the style of the album is based on Kathy Orta's paper bag album. She did an album series where there was a pocket along the bottom, pocket along the side, and then a flap. Um, mine's similar, not exactly the same. I didn't do the vertical pocket, instead I used the bottom of the bags to adhere the pages together. I used the small Michaels Celebrate It bags, and I used four of them. So there aren't very many pages, but you know, I, I didn't want the album to get too terribly thick, especially when you add the photos, um, because otherwise your camera would look a little out of scale. So, so you'll see that I have several of these handmade shipping tags and what I did to create this effect is I crunched up the tags into a ball and then I flattened them by hand and I took a distress ink and just ran the whole ink pad right over the top and it it caught all the top edges on, on the tag and then I took some of my perfect pearls my homemade perfect pearls mist and I misted the tags and it what it does is it kind of causes the ink to run into the valleys a little bit and it also adds a bit of a shimmer and the shimmer is highlighted you know in the creases it's kind of neat actually and I don't think you can pick that up on camera but um, and then after I had spritzed it I took an iron and I actually ironed the tag so it would be relatively flat for the album so you'll see several of these in there and you'll also see some others that I just cut from the paper collection Another thing I experimented with was the enamel accents by Ranger, so that I've used a lot of white. You can see a little bit of black here, and I use it similar to the way I use my stickles. I just add dots to accent different features on the page. Uh, this tag is removable. This is just a, a Sizzix a Sizzlet die. This will flourish in a corner. Here's this flap, and I use crackle accents on this flourish but I was uh, quite surprised when it actually dried. The flourish looks kind of purple. I don't know if you can see the color on film. It looks purple instead of light blue now so I don't know what happened there but oh well it's all good. Here in the corner on several of the pages you'll see that I've added these are my homemade wire wrapped corner accents and then I just added some bling in the center of the the wraps there. Got a tag here. On the ends of all the pages I've included a larger shipping tag done with a similar style to the original tag I showed you. Here's another uh, flourish or wire wrap flourishy accent in the corner there. Flip this up and again the film strip die. The tag in behind another tag here, another wire wrap accent, and this here I used my cuddle bug to emboss and then I just sanded it. So I created a little page where the ends of the second and third bags um, glue together and this tag is removable. And then this little flourish again is one of the sizzlets uh, dies and I used the silver paint dauber to color it and then I went over it with a couple coats of UD so it's got a nice thick clear finish on it. And I've got this little removable tag here and this little tag here is glued to the film strip and you know I got that from the center of the film strip die cut so I just added a hole and a little ribbon thought it was a cute little accent here again, flourish with the same UD treatment as the other one, and this tag is removable. 
It's a tag that's removable here, and I've also glossy accented um, the little dots on the page just to add a little bit of dimension. And this is the last page. I've got a couple more metal accents in the corner. Added some film strip ribbon for this tag, which is removable. Another tag there. Again, glossy accent treatment just on the little dots. And I've got two more tags here. So that is my book. On the back, I do with all my work. I stamped with one of my um, original stamps and then I always date and sign it as well. So anyway, I hope you like the album. Um, I'm expecting a lot of people to put in some requests for showing them how to make the vintage camera box that it comes in. Um, I'm not sure if it's the easiest thing to show on a YouTube video. I definitely need some pattern pieces, particularly for the bellows. Um, but if you have specific questions about um, how I constructed something or a finish, like for example, um, this canvas, this finish on the box is actually canvas and I can, it was just white canvas, I can show you the treatment um, that I did for the canvas f for that. Um, yeah, anyway, um, I really appreciate your comments guys, you're, you're awesome, I like your feedback, um, makes me feel good, makes me feel like I'm not wasting my time doing these videos, so yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.